Okay,、uh, welcome to our lesson on how to set up our sports card. Here below, we see our sports card direction sheet. To begin, of course, the program that we are working in is GIMP, our good old friend. A lot of these steps will be、uh, an exact reference to our green screen guy or our banner project, but we are going to、uh, review them here. Step one: we need to open GIMP. Now, of course, there are a few ways to do this. However, the easiest way is the way we're going to do right now. Up top, we're going to click our, on our magnifying glass right up here, where we see this big、uh, pointer、uh, with the magnifying glass, and it brings up a spotlight search. G I M P, GIMP. Now, I clicked Enter. Once I typed in GIMP, and we'll see down here, GIMP is loading, 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 loading. GIMP is loading. Okay. Now, once GIMP has loaded. Once GIMP has loaded, it will bring up these three windows: your middle window, your toolbox, and of course your layers, brushes, or your history tab. Now, step number two: we need to hit Command N, New Canvas. Now, you have to make sure when you type in keyboard commands that you have GIMP open. It always has to say GIMP up here. Again, step number two: we're going to type Command N, but not until it says GIMP up here. GIMP, there it is. Okay. So with this window selected, we're going to hit Command. N, and would you look at that? The create a new image window pops up. Now it's very important that our canvas is a width of 500、uh, pixels and a height of 750 pixels. So if we do a width of 500 and we do a height of 750. 750. We click OK and look at that, ladies and gents. We have ourselves a sports card blank canvas. Sports card blank canvas. Wonderful. Now, if we look at step number three, we need to drag in the photo of ourselves. We need to drag in the photo of ourselves.、So、let me move the, the direction sheet. Where did I put that photo of myself? Okay, that's right. I put mine in my downloads folder. So if we click on the Finder face, ladies and gents, if we click on the Finder face. This、uh, all my files. Click on all my files right here. Click on all my files. We see that we have obviously a lot of different files. I have more than you, but this file right here should be the picture that we downloaded from the classroom. So we are going to drag in that photo right into our canvas. Uh, it asked me if I if I want to rotate it.、Uh, I do want to rotate. That way, it's the right direction. It might not ask you that. Holy guacamole! Look at how big that photo is. Okay, now if we grab our magnifying glass tool, you might not have to do this. But magnifying glass tool. Click on zoom out. Pop, 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 pop. Look at how big. Look at how big this picture is. Let us grab our scale tool to make this picture smaller. And oh, would you look at that? Step number four is scale slash fake scale. Scale slash fake scale. If we grab our skill tool, we click on our photo of ourselves. We need to make this thing smaller. So we don't know the exact numbers we want. We're just going to drag it closer to the canvas. If you notice, I'm clicking on those corners. Now you don't want to make it super skinny. You don't want to make it super wide. You want to make it more real. You want to keep it keep it looking realistic. Let's see how that looks. Loading. Okay, still too big. Let's keep going. Let us find the scale. Okay, we're getting there. We're getting there. We're getting there. I'd say. Once we scale, we can always drag this little circle over to the middle. Let's see how this looks. Scale. I would say that looks pretty close. If we click on our magnifying glass again, up here, magnifying glass. Zoom in over in our tool options. We can zoom, 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 zoom. Okay, I would say that looks pretty realistic. You want to make sure that you don't make yourself too tall and you don't make yourself too wide, or else you won't look like a human being. Okay. Now it's important that after a lot of steps, we have to make sure that we save, which of course is Command S or Command the Command Shift S the first time that we save a project. So if we click on our canvas, Command Shift S, we're going to save as your last name, sports card. So I typed in Dakota Sports Card up here. I'm going to click it and I'm going to save it into my Pictures folder. Save.
Okay. Now you have seen how to set up your uh, you have seen how to set up your sports card. More steps will be in the following video. Thanks.